What's going on, Predators? Travis here. Just doing a quick update here on the Zinger Fletchings and, uh, you know, how they work for me. I shot them out to 60 yards of my dad's ranch just to see how well that they would fly and how they'd steer an arrow and how everything worked with that. I did uh, shoot broadheads with them as well. Uh, unfortunately, some of that footage got lost. Some of the cameras, I was having some issues. They died on me. The batteries died because I was filming for quite a long time. But anyways, go ahead and make sure you, you know, stay to the end of the video. You can get my final impressions on everything. Uh, and also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and, or watched my original video on it, I'll put it up in the uh, top of the screen up here. So uh, check that out as well. Uh, but thank you for tuning in, guys, and uh, I'll see you at the end of the video. Established that it's shooting a little bit high. So I'm going to raise this light back up just a little bit. And so what was interesting about that was why it was shooting high was originally uh, you know my arrow was so far off and I, I've been doing a couple things I forgot to turn the camera on for it, but one of them is I had a little bit of a kick in my arrow and they were hitting straight into the target but I, with that kick, it was losing so much energy that my arrows were actually hitting lower than what they would if, uh, you know, they were shooting straight. And this is only 20 yards right here, so pretty amazing. All right, come on. Nice shot on this one. Let's do it. Getting better. All right. So now we're right there. We're getting closer to the kill zone shoot one more and then probably make a little bit of a sight change I like to see that they're like right on top of each other so I can tell by looking at that that I just need to move my sight again to the right so that I can shoot a little further left and then we'll be money. I think that will be money right there. Let's check it out. Whenever I get uh, further away, that's where I'm gonna switch to, uh, you know, using the uh, micro adjustments here. But since I'm so close right now, I'm gonna use the larger kind of coarse adjustment. There we go, that feels good. All right, let's go get our arrows. Wow, these are, these right here could not be any closer on top of each other, man. They're almost broken knots right there. I'm just robbing of those. Their holes are literally about a millimeter apart. Mm. Now we got one more set here. I'm gonna shoot uh, three more arrows, and if I get a good group here at 20, then I'm gonna move it back. Oh, that's beautiful. That is money. Kill shot. I think I could pretty safely call that a dead pig. Alright, one more.
That's what you call a one-way target. The good thing is, is see how easy that comes off. Right back on. With minimal effort. yards right here so you'll be able to hear this as the arrow passes by the microphone so you can hear how loud these are all right wish me luck god please don't let me lose another arrow find some arrows. barely made it but. so that's uh, that's 60 yards right there uh, these two look really good for 60 uh, this one I pulled that a little bit like I even had to let down once because I was kind of struggling with keeping it steady the wind picked up and uh, I didn't want to shoot it like that because I don't want to lose another arrow so no, it's not bad right there I'll take that um, So it seems that I did finally have one failure here, and this was like, a, I think the second time going through the target. So you can see it came apart just a little bit there. But uh, I just shot it, I just shot it right now, and at 60 yards, it's still hitting the target just fine. So that's apparently not gonna make any difference. Um, so anyways, I'll probably get that replaced through the warranty. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's, Pretty good doing so far. Like I say, this is a. I think it went through the target twice, or, or lodged into the target twice, I should say. Need some broadheads now. Let's see how this goes, man. So I got my sight tape on there finally, which is great. See what it does on Mr. Piggy here. That's a 
kill shot. Try to hit the other orange dot. I hope that broadhead isn't sticking that hard ass part again. 